Good evening, Mark. Louisiana's David Vitter is one of those Republicans who will decide Janet Yellen's fate up on Capitol Hill. He sits on the Senate Banking Committee, which will consider her nomination first in the Senate. The conservative is no fan of quantitative easing, and after meeting with Yellen late today up on the Hill, he's still on the fence over her nomination. Well, I haven't made a decision about the vote. We had a good meeting and I laid out what my concerns are and big areas that I'm going to discuss at committee. And the two biggest are, first of all, ending too big to fail, taking measures that haven't been taken yet to increase capital requirements, other things to truly end too big to fail. Uh, and secondly, concerns about this uh, zero interest rate policy forever into the future. I'm concerned that we're having little to no impact on the positive economic side with diminishing returns on that sort of policy, but we are building up inflationary pressures, et cetera. Too big to fail. This has been a big issue for you. You've got your legislation here, bipartisan legislation with Senator Sherrod Brown. Did you come away from this meeting thinking that Janet Yellen and, and you perhaps are closer to being on the same page well, on that issue? Well, the good news in general is that the regulators, including her, have moved a little bit toward greater capital requirements for mega banks in our direction and that's been meaningful both Sherrod and I think they should go further and I specifically asked her about that and I urged her to be concrete in terms of further action uh, she would be open to or supportive of uh, did she commit to backing your legislation for example supporting no, that no, she didn't commit to anything that concrete but hopefully she's going to be specific and concrete at the hearing we'll see what about on the subject of monetary policy? You and a lot of Republicans have had questions about quantitative easing. What did she tell you about, again, her justification for not only the actions they've taken so far, but the fact that quantitative easing, at least for the moment, is continuing? Well, she didn't back off that at all, and so we just disagree there. And she, in fact, called uh, these measures that they've been taking uh, not as dramatic or not as non-traditional as they might seem. I just disagree about that. I think this is a real departure from any past monetary policy, and I'm concerned about dangers in the future. Dangers in the future. What worries you the most right now as you well, look at Fed policy? Ultimately, inflation. We certainly don't have inflation now, but I think we have diminishing returns in terms of economic growth. I think they have, you know, Know, squeezed everything they can out of that sort of free money policy in terms of any positive economic growth, growth and I do think we're building up inflationary pressure. What is your sense right now about her nomination right now, where it stands in, in the Senate? You've got some concerns. Other Republicans have said publicly sure. they're not going to support her. Does she get the 60 votes, you think, to clear her nomination? Well, first of all, it will clearly take 60 votes. Any semi-controversial nomination will take 60 votes. That's the bar. You know, I think every betting person would say right now she almost certainly gets that. But, but we're going to have a discussion, we're going to see. And I think this discussion in committee can be very important about key issues, including too big to fail. What is it you're looking for her to say, specifically on too big to fail going forward, other than, again, listening well, to you and your concerns about... I'd like her to specifically support uh, more stringent capital requirements for the biggest banks. And as a regulator of those big banks, she's going to have a big role in that. Absolutely. Do you think the regulatory side of this uh, nomination has gotten the kind of scrutiny you think is is uh, needed? I, I don't know about in general. Certainly it has for me on issues like too big to fail. I think that's a huge role of someone in her position. Obviously monetary policy is too, but I think that's a big role, particularly post Dodd-Frank. Uh, and finally, on monetary policy, uh, quantitative easing, Chairman Bernanke, you've heard him testify in front of the Banking Committee, and Janet Yellen, when she's appeared yeah. not only in front of the committee, but also speaking around the country. This is action that's unprecedented because the economy went through so much up to the financial crisis. You are not convinced that this Fed needed to take these steps to revive the economy? Well, look, nobody's arguing that the economy was in the tanks. Uh, I just think particularly at this point, after months and months and months, the returns on that sort of policy are diminished down to nothing and the dangers are increasing. And what about your legislation right now? You may not get Janet Yellen's support right now. Where, where does it stand with your Senate colleagues? Well, we're continuing to build support uh, and I think the reaction of the regulators uh, when they moved to some greater capital requirements was in fact in part a reaction to our building support for our bill. And Senator Vitter and the rest of the Senate Banking Committee will get the chance to question Janet Yellen in public as soon as next week. Her confirmation hearing could happen a week from tomorrow. Mark needs at least five Republicans across the aisle join Democrats to clear her path to confirmation. And uh, again, the indication is right now she's probably headed that way.